Hey guys, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and today we'll be reading a Splendor Man love story. This one only has two chapters, sadly, and it's called Back on My Feet. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepypasta fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. This world can be so cruel just when you think you have grown close to someone. They break your heart, destroy your faith in love and trust. I left her body in the woods. I don't like talking about my past relationships, but I can feel like I can talk to you. We started dating three months ago. She was a pretty redhead woman with freckles, with pretty green eyes. She had such a, a fired spirit, a pretty smile. I would come to her home every night and we would look up to the stars and whisper sweet nothings into my ear. I love you. We'll be together forever. And the sweetest kisses she would give me on the cheek, on the lips, they were lies. You never loved me, I thought. I thought humans were all the same until I met her. But all she did was play me like a marionette. You made me kill those innocent schoolgirls, steal for you. I knew it was wrong, but I was blinded by love. You smile, use your smile on me for your own needs. Then one day you let me go and showed me your true intentions. You were a open wound in my arms that I had to close with bandages. Uh, us here, even in death, I still care for you. Diana's point of view. It was a rainy night, like always, at this time of year. I was walking home when I spotted so someone standing in the rain without an umbrella. I tilted my head questioningly and I approached the tall man. Excuse me, sir, I said, tapping him on the shoulder. He turned to me, his attention to me I greeted him with a warm smile that, as I best I could. He blinked and looked back at me with a sad, worn look. Um, you know, I usually don't do this, but this, it's terrible weather out here. And well, I'm unsure if you have a home or not well, perhaps you want to accompany me to my home. I asked him in a small voice. I nodded and gave him my umbrella and took his hand leading him to my house. I usually avoid social contact with people but something about his look cried hurt. I needed to help him. I have to.